Hello everyone, I'm Esh. Welcome back to Galacticraft. This is Esh Plays. You're here because you love... You love excellence, basically. You love excellence. Maybe you love the use of the word anus, because that seems to be something we do a lot here on Esh Plays. Maybe you love mining. I don't fucking know why you're here. I'm at a loss, really. Why are you here? Tell me why you're here. You f it's fucking weird that you're here. I don't know what I'm what I'm talking about, guys. All I know is that I've got this thing shitting <laughs> shitting out ore. That's what I'm talking about, guy. Look at this thing. Look how fucking great Oh, look, it's saying hello. What an adorable atrocity this is. It looks like some sort of beetle that's just shitting out tin ore right now. And what this thing actually is is not a uh, a beetle shitting out ore. This is a digital miner with the mechanism mod. And I I was looking for a way to quarry out resources because I needed them to finish off the uh, the new rocket so we can go to Mars. And I found out that the Lapidos Galacticraft pack it doesn't have a quarry anymore. Um, I guess it got rid of that. So I was looking for alternative methods of mining things out, without actually having that actually having to mine myself, which would be the worst. Uh, and I found this thing, a digital miner. It's a uh, it's a block or a, uh, a multi-block thing from the mechanism mod pack, which is in most most mod packs nowadays. So you could probably figure it out. It's a, called a digital miner, and as you can see, it's very technical. And what I have is our elite energy cube that we had on the moon. Um, I mean, on the moon, the space station, which we couldn't figure out how to make work. So we I, I just popped it into this thing because it actually does work. And as you can see, it's got the energy bar here, and it's using up 99.87 kilojoules, and I, can't, I don't really know if it's per second or, or what, but it doesn't seem to be going down very fast, because I've had it in there for at least, I'd say, 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes, and it's, it's barely moved. Uh, the bar is barely moved there. So that's good news. That is good news. The better news is that it's working. Look at this thing. It's pumping out all the ore that we want. And that's the key. That's the key to this. And I'm going to go over how this thing works. And it seems to actually be targeting this chest because these are mechanism pipes. They're called um, logistical pipes. So, or not logistical pipes. What are they called? I have one in my inventory still. Uh, logistical transporter. So if you're looking for how to make these, the logistical transporter is what these are called. They're not called pipes anymore. And the other pipes that we used to use, the buildcraft pipes, aren't in here, obviously, because buildcraft is gone. You need these to hook up to the back end of this thing, the anus of this thing. See, I, I knew I would, there was a reason I was talking about anuses immediately. It's because this thing's anus is shooting out ore, and that's where you have to hook the pipes up to. And uh, I decided that this thing was cool enough that we just talk about it for a little bit, actually on an episode. Because we're going to have to wait for these things. Uh, we'll probably have enough to start working on getting the materials for our, our rocket. So we can do that. And we can talk about this mine, digital miner. It's going to be the best. So the reason this thing exists is because it allows you to target mine. Um, meaning you don't have to get all that cobblestone and sand and dirt. You can ignore it and just target the stuff that you want. Um, which is amazing. So if we look in this thing, we can stop it. Bop. Stopped. And we can... I don't want to reset it, actually. I don't want to reset it. But we can. We can reset it. Okay. We'll reset it. And as you can see, it says idle, not ready, eject, pull, silk, and to mine. So eject means we have auto eject on. And this is where this thing is. We can turn it off. We can turn it on. You're going to want to turn it on unless you're doing a very small amount of uh, mining. Meaning you're doing some spot mining, maybe for one or two ores only of a small location, then you can leave it off because then if auto eject is off, it'll start filling its internal inventory up. But that can fill up really fast, obviously, and then you have no room and it just starts spitting stuff out on the floor, probably. Um, so you want to leave that on, and that'll make it tell it it'll tell it to shoot the shoot the stuff right out of its right out of its butt and into the pipe or whatever you have hooked up to the back end and we have it hooked up to these and I realized we probably didn't need all these chests and stuff so I just unhooked it so that it would at least target just the two chests and we wouldn't have a bunch of stuff scattered around six chests um, I didn't really calculate it in my head knowing that we only had a few ores really selected uh, to be mined up that said um, we need to get some of these again one that one of this 
I'll even pop most of our junk in that's in our inventory over into this chest so we have enough room to do this and I'll show you guys how this thing works I did find this a moonstone a, a, a moon meteor of some sort fell fell on us and there we go I'm gonna put most of this in there and I I looked in s to see what it was actually used for and it's not really used for much there's one thing it's used for I have no idea what what it even does so we'll have to look that up later but anyway back to this thing what you have to do is we need to go ahead and get one of each of these that we've already mined um, some copper the problem with this of course is that because there's so many different types of mods there's gonna be about three different types of tin literally three of uh, three different types of copper and if you want to mine those you gotta put them in there and tell it to so you go in here, you get all your stuff set. You can even set the silk touch so it won't destroy the block. It'll just it'll just mine the actual block itself. Um, like the pickaxe enchant, it works the same way. The only problem with silk touch is it will draw a lot more energy than it than it was uh, would otherwise. And unless you really want to mine a certain thing, um, maybe you have like a pickaxe with a bunch of fortune or whatever that one is that gives you a chance to get extra. You want to turn Silk Touch on so that all of your ore, you can then just uh, p pop your diamonds down on the ground every time and just pop it up. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so um, what we need to do next is to go to our config. Oh, it actually did save this. Sweet. So I don't have to do anything really. Um, but I will show you how to do it. I will show you how to do it. So we've got this. Um, we've got these settings over here. And I'll tell you what they are. So these are the items that I've set in the filter for the, the, the machine to actually find and mine. Everything other than these, it's going to ignore. So we're just going to ignore all the sand and dirt and everything, all the cobble, all that stuff. It's going to be ignored. Unless it's one of these items in the item filter, it's not going to mine it. Over here, we've got the radius, min, and max. The radius is how many blocks out from the, the, uh, from the miner's center it will mine. So right now we got a set for 15. It's gonna it's gonna mine starting at this block here. It's gonna mine 15 out of that way, at 15 out that way. That's the radius. 15 out in every direction. That's how far it's gonna mine out. Um, the the min is how far down it's going to go. Zero it means it's going to go all the way down to bedrock. That's good. The max is how where it's gonna start upwards. So. We're on level 67 right here, so I went ahead and set it to 67, but if we wanted it to mine further up because it was in some sort of like canyon and we wanted it to mine up the mountainside, we could set it for higher. It's basically the y-axis, and we have it set for 0 and 67 respectively. Now, the item stack is where you're going to start saving your filters. So I actually have this coal I can add. It won't let me add it. I actually had to get this coal or for it to actually figure out that it wanted coal um, if I wanted but you know I can I can just pop this in here and hit uh, save and it'll sa if it hadn't already saved it will save now we do have iron in there already obviously and that's how you add items to it you just pop the block in here and save it now you can also do some stuff that's more technical by going to the ore dictionary and you could then type in maybe like this um, or with a star in front of it and save it and then it would if we did it right I don't think we did it right just now delete um, or dictionary um, or like that would be like this it doesn't work but in theory it would work I think if you do like cobble or something like that it'll work maybe or um, stone like this there we go stone so anything with the word stone in it you can then add to your filters list and it'll mine everything that's a stone um, this should work too you would think but I I, th I don't know um, or like this or what about that or that okay I think that worked sort of yeah it looks like it's it's filtering through all the stuff that you could possibly mine with that certain thing 
So actually, if we really wanted to, I, the only thing that is I don't want all this junk. I only want it to get the good stuff that I need for my ship. So I'm not going to add it. But I am going to make sure I don't... Yeah, I didn't accidentally add it. So that's the whole thing. Um, it, this is the coolest part, really. So if I really wanted to just mine every single ore and nothing that was bad, I could just type in, you know, asterisk, ore, asterisk, and it would find everything with the word ore in it, and then it would select those things. So that said, we have our config set up. We have all the ores that we could possibly want, but all the ores we're going to need for our Tier 2 rocket. We have it set up so that it'll mine 15 out from the center in every direction. We have it so it'll go all the way down to bedrock. We have it so that it starts at the 67th level. And we're good to go. We're good to go. So we have our power source. The only thing is, though, I've made some speed upgrades. They're really cheap, so I figured I'd make some. And except I just uh, dropped them on the floor. Where the hell did they go? I think maybe we, only, we have to put one at a time in here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What the hell isn't this working? I think I may have to turn this thing off. Um, how do you turn this off? Disabled. Maybe it'll work now. There we go. Okay, so you may have to turn your NEI off temporarily if you want to put upgrades into this upgrade slot. Pretty much every mechanism machine is going to have this. The speed upgrades are universal, basically. So any machine can benefit from the various upgrades that mechanism offers. That said, the reason I have a bed here so that I can sleep in it. It won't let me sleep in it. What the hell is going on here? I'm scared, actually, that these creepers are going to get up and start getting fresh with me. I don't know what the problem with that bed is. All I know is we're going to start this thing, I think. We have um, some speed upgrades. It, I don't know if it's going to make it take up more energy or not, but we're going to start this. Start. So it's found... 2400 blocks to mine and it's going to do that and it's not going to destroy the landscape it's just going to mine only the blocks that it needs and unfortunately the creepers are getting fresh as predicted what a what a son of a bitch you are come on come on then let's do this there we go all right it's a huge hole that is a huge hole all right, so we're not running on solar power, we're just running on that energy cube, so we don't have to worry about sun necessarily, except for the fact that now that we are at night, it's going to start getting uh, dangerous out here. So I think it's a perfect time to stop looking at this, even though it's a majestic feat. It's a majestic feat. You know, trying, just getting, not having to mine all this sand and dirt and stone that's under there, just being able to, son of a bitch. Why are you being a bastard? Put your fucking denim on. Get out of here. Alright, and um, I think it's a perfect perfect place to start going back inside with all of the stuff that we've found so far. Which includes, oh, the speed the speed upgrade. We can actually go ahead and, I don't, I keep looking at that damn cactus and thinking it's a creeper coming to blow me up. Um, there we go. How about that? We got our third one. Those are pretty cheap to make, as long as you have the machines, the mechanism machines to process into enriched iron and stuff. Um, so it's pretty good actually and as you can see it's going noticeably faster just by adding that one so if you can add more than that and obviously you can see that it has s times four times so it's going four times faster and if you want to remove it you can click on this actual number here and it'll start removing the uh, the additional upgrades from the machine so that's a digital miner everyone this is not a tutorial series so if you want anything more <laughs> freaking advanced than that little explanation briefly, then you're going to have to go and find one. There's a there's a one or two really good um, uh, tutorials on the internet. Um, don't be afraid to go check that out if you're confused about some of the more intricate intricate things you can do with that thing, because there is the feature of being able to replace blocks with that thing. It's that's what the pull option is on there. Um, if you set that up and you put a, um, why am I a thing? I don't change this. I don't want to be a creeper, guys. I want to be myself. Alright, so, anyway, like I was saying, if you, um, for instance, if you're mining, and you're mining all the stone, but you don't want a big hole, you want to replace all the stone with, uh, I don't know, dirt, and you have a bunch of dirt, 
you can put a chest on the top of it, put the dirt in the chest, set it up so that it replaces all stone with dirt, and boom, you got yourself a filler. Basically, it takes all those the blocks that you would use before, a quarry, a filler, etc., 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 and it just puts them into a much more overpowered version, really. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's, it's really g a great block. Okay, so we've got um, to go up. We got, oh, you know what this problem is going to be? Is that our miner is going to stop mining as soon as we go up to the space station. Which sucks. Um, so we're going to have to wait, I think, a little bit. And uh, then go back up there. Because we need, of course, to be able to process this ore. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. Look at all the ore we already have. Oh, it's so great. Alright, so all the monsters are coming out to have a fight. They think it's some fucking Michael Jackson movie, uh, music video or something, and uh, they might as well beat it. And I, I personally am a fan of beating it, but not in a Michael Jackson way, not in like a masturbatory way, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if masturbatory is a word, but it should be if it's not. What a, what a literary genius I am today. Um, so let's go check the rectum. Of, uh, of our miner again and see if he's done anything majestic with it. I'm, let me just say that if I had a chance to become a machine of any sort, some sort of ant, not... I'm not even talking about... Oh, I'm starving here, one sec. I'm not even talking about sentient machines or machines with, like, fake user interfaces or whatever. Like, um, like a robot or an android or anything. I'm talking about, like, just, uh, regular machines, like a fucking, I don't know, air compressor <laughs> or something like that. Um, I would probably be this digital miner because pretty much all day long, all you do is shit out valuable, valuable minerals from your butt. And I'm about, I'm about that. Granted, shitting out a diamond, probably not the most comfortable thing that could ever happen to you, but... At the same time, you can just say, Hey guys, guess what? I just shed out. Fucking diamond. Did it again, you can't talk because you're not a real sentient being. You're just a machine that's bred, born and bred to poop out diamonds. But everybody would be impressed with you, you know? You wouldn't be able to know, you wouldn't know that because you don't have no brain or whatever. No uh, no synapses popping up in that, that noggin of, of, of this machine, but... I think it says something about how valuable are if people are like, oh my god, I'm so impressed with this guy's anus. He's pooping out all the diamonds. I've got one diamond so far. Look at this. What a fucking day it is. What a day on the Earth base it is. The Earth base Kevin Spacey is graced with the presence of the digital miner pooping out diamonds. Oh. I really like these pipe. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Oh, this is all my stuff. I'm so stupid. I was like, how the fuck did it mine a goddamn toe? Oh, what an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's the best part about these pipes is that they're much smarter than the other pipes. Like for instance, it's it's picked this chest and every item is going into this chest. And rather than the other pipes, the build craft pipes, it would get to this point and it would decide with a 50-50 chance which direction it's going to go. So it would just split randomly in one direction or the other. This thing has decided this is the chest I'm going to fill up first. Once this is filled, it's going to recognize that it's all full and it's going to start filling up this one. Which is never going to happen because look at this. We don't have 37 stacks of cobble that we're having to worry about. That's amazing. Alright, so what is that? What is that? Okay, so we got a bunch of iron. We got some aluminum. Al aluminum coming through. We've got some... See, the problem with Aluminum, guys. If you're American and you're watching me, which you probably are, let's be honest, um, is that we all say aluminum and we all know it's wrong. It's not right. Granted, they did make it the official term. You can call it aluminum or alum aluminium all you want because both the spellings are correct. Um, which I think it's funny. I guess at some point, whenever you say enough, say it wrong enough, people are like, "Fuck it, let's just make it a word," you know. But I recognize that aluminium is the probably the pr proper and preferred way for you to say it. And I feel like I'm being uh, peer pressured or guilt tripped into saying aluminium, even though for all my entire life I've said uh, aluminum. And um, I feel like it's partly the, the, the British's fault, you know? It's 
partly the British's fault. Which is, you know, I could say that about a lot of things in America. Just, uh, it's, it's the British's fault. Because, um, they're the ones who, you know, started America, basically. So everything's basically their fault, if you think of it, if you think about it, you know. It's all their fucking fault. What a bunch of bastards. I'm just kidding. I love British people. I love all people, you know? I love every single people. Every single people. I love them. Just the way it is. There's, uh, we're all human beings here, guys. We just have weird accents, different languages. That's pretty much the only difference. And we'll say that there is a a, a barrier. You have to get used to a certain, per certain type of uh, accent before you can actually connect with them. Like, uh, for instance, I'm a really big fan of the Oxcast. I watch the Oxcast all the time. But whenever I first started, there was a bit of a barrier there because they didn't have uh, an American accent, so I had to get used to it. And uh, that seems like a little—that seems, you know, what's the word? Shallow, maybe. But it's true. It, it just true. You get used to a certain type of accent, and then whenever there's a, there's a disconnect between you and the audience, whenever or the audience and you, whenever they don't have or don't haven't lived around an accent. But once you get used to it, you watch enough videos. You get used to it, so I'm sure that a lot of you had to get used to my slight southern accent because I live in Texas. I can't help it. I, I, I wish I could get rid of it, but I can't. My southern draw it does. I try to filter it out, but sometimes I'm sure it comes through more than I would like. Man, we just we just cleared this chest out, and it's already it's already full again. Almost, well, I say full. It, it's already got so much stuff in there. Osbium, I got. I don't really need Osbium, but I decided, you know, I kind of want some for fun. You know, just uh, build some something out of Osbium. We've. I don't think I have any Osbium armor on because it's ugly as fuck. But I can make something else out of it, like some sort of sculpture, maybe some sort of uh, phallus out of Osbium. Man, I think it's time to just head up to the moon or the space station and start pumping this stuff out. Let's let's start refining our materials into their f the forms that are going to be helpful. I'm not sure we have enough yet. I think by the time that thing was finished, we would. So uh, I may have to just m do what I can and then come back and let it do some mining because it's not going to. I don't think it's going to be able to mine with us gone. Granted, we don't. The power system should be okay. We shouldn't have to do anything weird like reset it like we do with a lot of the stuff. Alright, so I am a little worried that we're going to have to do something crazy, like move all of our machines that we need down to the power systems room. We're going to have to check it out and see if this is going to be an issue. We have a coal generator. Alright, so a compressor. Let's see what you got, buddy. We're going to put the coal in here. We're going to have the heat going. I am going to now compress some tin. If at all possible. Once this thing hits 100%, it should start compressing, I guess. You know, the problem may be that it's feeding into some other machines around the base because it's hooked in. So I'm just going to destroy that block for attempts. Temporary. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get that shit. Get it. Get it, bitch. no point in not making these all into iron, you know? Because we're going to need to use them for something, even if we make too many, and I think we're probably going to end up short, to be honest. Martin Short, uh, because this thing is so fucking expensive. Like, look at this. We need one, two, four, six, eight, ten for each fin. We need twenty for the fuselage area. So, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, uh, six, 70, 72, 73, at least 73, and then uh, 75, 77, 78. Nine, at least 79 probably more around 80 or so steel that's just the steel so we're not even going to be close really I mean it's okay 
Ah, shit. Because we, we need... If we need 80 of those, then we need... 160 iron, basically. Because it requires 2 iron to make 1 compressed iron. Ah, that's a lot of iron. But I think we can really... I, I think we'll be fine, to be honest. Because our miner is just so good. <laughs> I'm not even worried about it. That's how good that thing is. Which is probably a sign that it's overpowered, like I keep saying. But I'm not, I don't want, I really don't, I shouldn't say it because I don't want them to gimp it. There's just so much to do in these mods that making mining harder is just, oh, it's not a, it's not, I don't think it's transducive, Condu conducive, god, what a, transducive is not a word. I'm pretty confident. Conducive is a word. So we've got 26 of these things so far. Aight. I think we're about ready to call it an episode here so that I can finish these without you guys getting bored of me. Um, I do think we want to go down and check just to see. I don't know. I've set up some administrator... Um, what are they called? What are they called? world anchors um, so that I can keep the different worlds loaded um, but I don't think I have one over here anywhere near this so I doubt it's gonna work and also I don't I don't even know if I have any actually because if I did maybe the power wouldn't stop working randomly all right is it still pooping out stuff yes it oh my god it's been working the old time it looks like Jeez. So we got 64. We already had 64 iron. That's 128 plus 8 more. That's 116. Or, er, I'm dumb. That's 136, I guess. <laughs> Fucking numbers, guys. Fucking numbers. So, really, if we get one more stack, that should be more than enough. And uh, let's see what the numbers are. So it's, it's mined. It was at 2400 and some odd. So it's down to 1600. It's done... A, almost a thousand uh, blocks so we've got plenty more to go it's not even done close to being done ah this is great so um, next time I will have everything I will have everything I promise we'll have all the materials to build our rocket and we'll launch it next time I promise I just wanted you guys to see how awesome this machine is you know I get a little bit I think we get a little bit um, blind we have blinders on when it comes to this mod pack and we forget that there are other things you can do other than traveling to other planets for instance this digital miner didn't even know it fucking existed until we needed something to mine fast and also i keep thinking oh man i wish i had some way to travel around the moon faster this moon buggy sucks dick that's what i think to myself i don't say it because that's rude you know um but then I'm like, wait a minute, maybe we have something in here that could make us go faster, like a fucking jetpack. Look at this. It looks fucking awesome, too, on the picture. It looks like it's going to be really cool to have on my back, you know? And it's not, it's not that expensive. All we need is a circuit, which is just some mechanism crafting stuff. We already have this machine, a metallurgic infuser, which I used to make the miner. We can have this thing in no fucking time, flat! So maybe next time I'll also have a goddamn jetpack. What would that be? It would be Erection City for everybody involved. All the ladies and the men and watching, including myself, would be completely and utterly erect at the thought of a jetpack flying around the moon. Are you Siri? Are you Siri for really? Yes, I am serious for really is. Because that would be awesome. So who knows? Next time I'm, I'm, you may come on and be like, oh, cool, a new, a new Galacticraft from Esh Plays. And then I'll be fucking soaring around like the goddamn rocket man. And you'll be like, oh, I don't even think I can finish this video because of how erect I am. And that said, we've talked about erections far too long. So I'm going to call it. I promise once again, next time we'll be ro we'll be rocketing up to Mars. I swear it. On my uh, father's grave. He's alive, actually. Um, anyway. I'm Ash. This is Ash Plays. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, then do so. It really helps a lot. And you won't miss any of the future updates of this exciting, exciting series where we watch things shit out or play on.